Yeah, Susie and Jeff, it does not look at, good at all. We brought the uh, CBS2 Mobile Weather Lab out just to monitor conditions out here in Bellflower. It's uh, 90 degrees right now. Right behind me is the Fire Museum set to open next month. But firefighters from all over Southern California were gathered here today to talk about the fire season and concerns regarding specific geographical areas. They walked away as one team, and I have to tell you, they all agree. Bottom line, this fire season is projected to be just as bad as last year. It's only June, and we've already had several wildfires across Southern California. This is our normal now, and we're about ready to enter into, we're entered, we're in the middle now of another, you know, extreme fire season. Our Stu Mundell was over the Benedict Canyon fire Tuesday. Those flames probably about 15 feet tall as they're working their way up that hillside. Fire crews attack the flames from the air and on the ground. Wildland fires know no boundaries, and they'll burn across you know, national forest land, burn into the city, burn into the county, burn onto state land. So which agency goes in first? The agency that's responsible for that jurisdiction is the incident commander right off the bat. And they all agree that agency decides how to first attack the fire. As a fire grows into jurisdictions, uh, multiple jurisdictions, then we enter into uh, what's called unified command. All the chief officers involved decided collectively how to get the right resources to the right places. Whether it's air resources, ground resources, resources, bulldozers, or intelligence. And drones are helping out as well. Drones have just helped us at the Portola fire. We were able to kind of let our helicopters kind of, you know, sit down and rest. So remember, now we're saving fuel, we're saving wear and tear on our pilots, and also our troops on the ground out there. And still keep a bird's eye view on the fire. All the firefighting agencies say they are ready and fully staffed across Southern California, and now ask that you be ready too. Be ready to leave uh, early and get out of the area so that the fire departments that are all coordinated can work well together. And a reminder, that does mean clearing at least 100 feet of defensible space. They say that helped to save a lot of homes recently in some of the uh, fires that we had out here. Keep the dead grass down or the grass down to four inches. Clear all the dead grass out. They did say that they're asking the governor for an extra $100 million to make sure they have the resources and staff ready to go on red flag days. We'll send it back to you.